Hello, I'm Cam, the chair of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council, and today I'm joined by... I'm Dan Hoskins, I'm the vice chairman at Herefordshire FA Youth Council. And I'm Kyle Williams, I'm the football development assistant at the Herefordshire FA. Right, right, Kyle, nice, easy icebreaker questions to get into it. What is your favourite film and why? Um, I'm not really a film person, but I... I do remember watching the first In Between Us film and just being in absolute stitches throughout the whole thing. Um, Love me a bit of comedy, uh, films and programmes, so that's probably what I'd choose. But yeah, I'm not I'm not a massive film person, to be honest. Uh, now we get to a serious question. What helps you got into your role at Herefordshire FA? Uh, so originally I, I started uh, at uni, Uni of Worcester, did a PE degree and sort of come out of it not really know what to do. Uh, I sort of lost uh, any interest in teaching for a little bit. Uh, so I got into football coaching. Then a job uh, popped up at the Heritage FA to go into schools. So deliver lunchtime, after school, PE lessons, um, just, you know, part time. I also then volunteered. So I'd be in the office one morning a week, just helping with the development team with any projects that they've got going on. Uh, over time, I then started to lead on school tournaments. So it'd be like every week, we invite a load of schools to a venue, play a little round robin tournament. Everyone's a load of fun. Uh, and then now into a more sort of permanent role uh, coming up, so, still doing the same stuff with the schools, um, still helping out a development team, but also now helping on delivering projects within the county. Um, how passionate are you about football in Hereford? If yes, why? Uh, very passionate. Uh, I think as a lot of people at the HFA have, you know, they played, played when I was younger for Lempster, uh, come all the way through the age groups. And then got into coaching at Leicester with a uh, boys team now under 15s. Now coach a ladies team as well at Leicester. Uh, I think just being around the club, uh, watching a load of games, I think I'm really sort of invested in what's going on. I want to see the best for this county in terms of the football, in terms of the quality, venues, you know, everyone deserves uh, a good opportunity to play. And I think we're taking steps in the right direction for that. Uh, also, Kyle. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So, Kyle, what has been your biggest coaching challenge since you started on your coaching journey? Oh, uh, BFET, this last year has been pretty challenging. Um, the stop start nature of everything that, you know, there's no continuity. Uh, you start you start working on something in sort of pre-season, start of the season, it stops. You then go do it again. It stops again. It <laughs> carries on. Um, that's been quite difficult to cope with. Um, I think that's come with a lot of frustration from players, parents, myself. Uh, and other than that, it's just breaking down sort of my mental barriers, trying to become more confident, Um in, in my coaching and just generally as a person. Uh, I've not always been a very confident uh, person. Uh, doing something like this is even kind of uh, taking me back a little bit. But um, I think that's that's definitely been the biggest challenge since I've started coaching. Um, just trying to improve myself, really. Brilliant, thank you. If you, ha if you could have two superpowers, what would they be? <laughs> um... Two superpowers. Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to read minds. I okay. I don't wouldn't necessarily do anything with the information. I just love to know what people are thinking at any point. Um, and they're probably quite a boring one. Ability to fly. I do. I wouldn't have to get stuck in traffic in Hereford. <laughs> I can go wherever I want, whenever I want, as fast as I can. Um, and just yeah, just go around everywhere. Brilliant, thank you. 
what do you know about the Herefordshire FA Youth Council? I think you're doing a lot of good work at the moment, trying to promote, obviously, the youth point of view. I think it's very important in this county where, obviously, we have a lot of junior players, uh, a lot of youth that are interested in football, and I think it's important that they get their points of view across. And I think you guys are starting to really implement that, and that's brilliant. That's exactly what we need. Uh, you know, that they are important to us, so they deserve to be heard. Uh, I like the diversity as well of the Youth Council. I think that's, again, in, in the current time, that's something that is a big plus for us. Um, and I said, you guys are doing a great job of that, especially with the, you know, with these uh, interviews, with the podcast. And it it doesn't get better as well. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Um, so the final question from me before I hand back to Dan. Have you watched our podcast series? If yes, what was your favourite episode and why? Yes, I, wa- I watched a couple. Uh, my favourite is definitely the one around mental health. Again, with the past year, I, I think a lot of people have struggled and they've understood a bit more about mental health and the various challenges with that. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Be you know people opening up, Dan, especially uh, opening up on it as well. It's it's brave to do because you know it's going out to the world, um, and I think that's something that a lot of people hopefully can take into their own stride and just start to open up to other people about their struggles. Uh, but I said, yeah, we people still really haven't fully recovered from the past year yet yeah, even though things are getting better and yeah i think that's it uh, you provided a great example there dan on that podcast opening up as i said being put out to everyone to see when you're in the hfa office yeah who's that one staff member that brings all the smiles and makes everyone laugh <laughs> and who's that one legend <laughs> i wonder who has who has uh, put forward this question, possibly. Uh, I think the obvious answer is Scott. Um, can very easily uh, make people laugh, make people smile in the office. But I think what's quite good about our team is that there's a lot of people that can do that. Um, a lot of people can make a joke and ev- everyone's in good spirit. So if I had to pick one, I guess it'd be Scott. Uh, <laughs> I'll, for the grit of my teeth, I'll have to say Scott, but uh, there's, there's a lot of people that could take that title. I will say for the recording that Scott has had nothing to do with that. this question. <laughs> the question came from me and Dan. So that was the latest episode of our sit down with Team HFA. Thank you ever so much, Kyle, for coming in and speaking to us today. We really appreciate it. And this um, interview will be on HFA TV in the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.